In this video, we will learn about RoboScaler. This scaler removes the median and scales the data according to the quartile range. The interquartile range is the range between the first quartile, that is the 25th quartile, and the third quartile, that is the 75th quartile. We will try to understand this with an example. Let's import pandas as PD. I am going to make one variable df and in this I will save my CSV file. From pandas, I will call the method read underscore CSV and then I will pass my CSV file name. Let's look at the top five rows of a data frame DF. We will use the method head. These are the top five rows of a data frame DF and it contains columns such as MPG, cylinders, displacement, horsepower, weight, acceleration, model year, origin and car name. We will also look at the bottom five rows of a data frame. We will use the method tell df.tell and these are the bottom five rows of a data frame df. Robust scalar can be performed on the numeric data only. Let's look at the data types of our variable df. We will type df.dtypes and in the output we can see that we got the data types of each variable. So for variable car name it is object and for horsepower it is also object. Except these two variable horsepower and car name we can apply this robust scalar on any other variable. And for this example we are going to consider two variables displacement and weight. I will make one variable x and from df I will use the method iolc. I want all rows and I want these two columns displacement and weight. So I need to get the index number of these columns and the index numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So for displacement it is 2 and for weight it is 4. I will pass here 2 and 4 because I want these two variables. I will make one variable y. This is going to be a target variable and this variable will contain the variable acceleration and we need to find the index number of the variable acceleration. The index numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I will pass here 5 df.iloc. I want all the rows and I want the column number 5 only. Let's look at x, x dot head. So x contains a data frame which contains two variables displacement and weight. Now we are going to import robust scalar and train test and split from sklearn. From sklearn dot preprocessing, we will import robust scalar from sklearn dot model selection. We will import train test and split. Train test split will be used to split our data into X train and Y train for training and testing. And robust scalar we will use to standardize our data frame. Now I am going to make variables X train, X test, Y train, and Y test to split our data into X train, Y train, X test, and Y test. So first will be X train, then X test, then Y train y test and I am going to use the method train test split. Inside this I will pass my variable x and y and I will also pass one parameter random underscore state and its value will be 50. You can put any number here but if you want your result to be same as mine then you also have to put 50. Let's execute. Now let's look at x train. x train dot head so x train data frame contains two variable displacement and weight. Now we are going to perform robust scalar on this x train first then we will apply it on x test also. So I will make an object of class robust scalar. I will make an object scalar and I will call the class robust scalar. And I am going to fit this on x train. I am just fitting it. I am not transforming it. Let's print our object scalar. So in the output you can see that it is an object of class robust scalar. 
let's look at some of the attributes i will type scalar dot n features so it is saying that too because we have two variables displacement and weight now i'm going to transform this x train so i will say scalar dot transform and i have to pass x train and in the output you can see that these are the transform value or the standardized value of our data frame x train so this first column is for displacement and the second column is for weight and these are the standardized values after applying the robust scalar and you can use this value to build your or develop your machine learning model we can also save this result in a variable i'll copy this code from here i'll make one variable x underscore train underscore scale and i'll just paste the code which i have just copied let's print now i'm going to print x train scaled in the output you can see that we have saved the result of transform x train and these are the standardized values for displacement and weight so this is for x train and we can also perform our next test i'll make one object scalar of class robust scalar and then i will fit on x test this time because we have already done on x train now i'm going to transform this scalar dot transform x underscore test and these are the transform value of our data frame x test this this first column is for displacement and the second column is for day for weight we can also save the result in a variable i'll just copy this code from here i'll make one variable x underscore test underscore scale and i'll just paste the code which i have just copied let's run i'm going to print x test scaled in the output you can see that these are the transform values of our x test data set and the first column is for displacement the second column is for weight this is how you can transform your variable using robust scalar this is a form of standardization we have such as we have different types of standardization such as min max scalar standard scalar max app scalar and robust scalar in this video we have seen how we can apply the robust scalar on our data frame if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching